Hi guys. So today we're going to be making reindeer hand prints. And these are super cute. And also they're made from your hand prints, okay? Your hand prints. Look at this guy. Oh my god, he is so cute. Also, kids, parents, family members, we love your hand prints. Any craft, anything with your hand prints, it is like gold. Parents love this stuff. Love it. Love it. I gave you guys enough to make one of these go crazy. Make a bunch of them. Use a red marker for the nose. Give one to every family member for Christmas. Gold. Your hand prints are gold. Okay, now that I got done talking about that, let's get started on the craft. To make your reindeer hand prints, you're going to need the following items from your bag. They don't look like what's in front of me right now because I try to use scraps if I have them available for my art projects so that I'm not wasting more. So my pages all have things cut out of them. But in your bag, you are going to have a full-sized sheet of brown paper. You're going to have a small square of yellow paper, a small square of red paper, a small square of white paper, and a little red pom-pom. You're also gonna need scissors, glue, a brown marker, and a black marker for this project. The first thing you're gonna do is trace your handprint. And for the palm, you're just gonna do a slight curve so it's not straight across, but then you're gonna cut out your handprint. Once you cut out your handprint, you're going to face him in this direction. Then you're going to draw your reindeer's head. You don't want a perfect circle. You want to get kind of a blockier, curved edge rectangle for his face. And then cut that piece out. You may want to cut to adjust. Yes, mine are different colors. Yours will not be. Again, this is because I'm using scraps. But... You may want to cut to adjust so that the reindeer's head is covering your thumb, like so. And just glue that guy on. Our reindeer now needs a little tail. So cut a curve wider at the bottom and going into a point. And we're gonna glue that onto the back of your little reindeer. After you put the tail on, you're going to cut his sash. You want his sash to go from below his tail to right where your pointer finger starts coming out. So I would want from here to here. I'm going to cut that and make a curved sash to go across the reindeer's chest. Because this is what helps him pull the sleigh. This is going to hold him to the sleigh. It's very important. If the reindeer is not tied to the sleigh, the sleigh does not go anywhere. 
So it is very important that the reindeer are harnessed properly. So we need to add something now to his harness because when the sleigh goes through the sky at night, you hear jingle bells. But what part of the sleigh jingles? There's bells on the reindeer's harness. So we need to draw three bells. Bells are can be made very simply. Make a circle, put a curve a little bit below the middle of the circle, a little line down, and a circle at the end of the line, like that. Make the outline really bold so that it's easier for you to cut out your circles. And then we're going to cut these out and glue them onto the harness. Okay, we've got the bells and the harness. And we need some hooves. So with your black markers, draw little curves at the bottom of your fingertips, which are his feet. And color them in black to represent his hooves. Now we have to give this reindeer a face. He is still missing a face. Poor guy. He needs ears. So let's get two ears. Curve up, two cuts, curving up into a point, like a triangle, but curved. And these are just going to get glued on the sides, the top corners of his head. Next, we're going to put some antlers on top of his head. So... Here's where you're gonna need your brown marker because we don't want the antlers to be the same color as the rest of his skin. We want them to be darker and stand out. So we're gonna draw some antlers. I'm just gonna do a simple antler. Um, I don't want to deal with anything too elaborate, um, just me personally, but you can go crazy. You can give him a huge head of antlers. You can go nuts. And then cut out the antlers and glue them to the top of his head. I'm just going to glue the very edge of the antler behind his head so they stick out. For your nose, you're going to use your red pom-pom because -pom, Rudolph's nose glows. You're going to put it on the white piece of paper. You want to make sure that you can draw a circle a bit bigger than the pom-pom. You want to be able to see the circle around the pom-pom. That's going to serve two functions. One, to show, to give his um, muzzle area, nose, a bit more depth because their noses are not flat on their face. And also the white serves as kind of a glow around the red nose. I'll smack that down on his face. A. 
add the pom-pom. Use your black marker and give him eyes. You can make your eyes look however you want. You can give him open eyes, shut eyes, cute little squinty eyes. I'm gonna attempt to do like a cute little squinty eyed thing. And we're gonna see how it looks. Um, I've seen it done in like cartoons and stuff. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Look at me doing things. It's nice to try new things. I could have. And there you have your little handprint reindeer.